The fact is that we cannot see through the Earth. This is opaque. Even glow of the uh, you know infrared cannot travel within the rock itself. You don't see the magma as hot glowing material. It is all dark. But we can measure what is under it by using the GPS. This is a satellite uh, tracking system. You can see the distances, measure the distances. We have different stations in the Reckoness Peninsula and we plot them on a graph like that. The graph close up shows the points and the error emerging with the vertical lines. You can see those ones. And it shows that we have, after some time of the steady rise, we have some flattening. Getting gradually, that means the bulging up of the ground, which shows something, we, we infer that to be magma, has moved upward, then has uh, moved a little bit slightly down or stayed the same, means something coming in, at the same time something is going out, that keeps it steady, in that sense, keep it flat or even falling, depends on the how much it comes, how much it goes out of that system. Sourcing volcanic system is uh, notorious for that over the past several months. This is a rift valley, I'll call it Grindavik Rift Valley. Face of the rift uh, fault lines, we can see them, there are numerous ones, them. this is just a cartoon showing the simple version of it, superimposed on the aerial photographs by the Meteorological Office of the Iceland. This is the range, this is the basin, typical uh, you know, setting for this kind of uh, magma movements and the reefs and the faults. So I think Blue Lagoon, we have a rise uplift, then sideway movement of the uh, magma. Creating seals at this stage, it seems, is not rising to erupt to the surface. We had several eruptions in the past. It's not getting difficult for it to actually make it to the surface. The pressure probably is not enough or the magma is going somewhere else, most of it. So when we plot them um, again, on this chart, this is what you will see. We just deal here with the lower part, which is actually what we see. And uh, all the points shows that at this stage, toward the Eld Warp, which is the west side of the Sorsengi, we have a continuous accumulation of the magma. This is what my colleague Arman Khoshkotson actually is saying that, and he, have a, he has been an advocate for this, that the magma eventually will move toward the west, where we have the Eldworth volcanic system, and erupts there. So at this stage, we can read the GPS data, we can infer from that, that the, to the other side, in the source thing, we have only a seal formation, but we may have another eruption in the Eldworth area toward the west, but that will not happen until autumn, probably, according to him. But I say that toward the east, we only have at, at the moment, it seems we have only seal formation, these igneous seals.